In a devastating turn of events, the man who lost his life in Opotiki on the night of Friday the 9th of June 2023, was identified as Stephen Tiatini, also known as Cap Tijuana and Tijuana Dog, the president of the mongrel mob Barbarians. The mysterious circumstances of his death has left the town on edge, as significant number of mongrel mob members flooded the town over the weekend for his funeral, prompting heightened police alertness. Police have launched a homicide investigation into the incident that led to Tiatini's death on St. John Street. In their hunt for the killer they are focusing on a burnout car. As more mongrel mob chapters arrive in town to pay their respects, the tensions rose and community leaders tried to keep a lid on it. According to reports, Stephen was killed following an earlier attack on a rival gang by young gang associates, and this burnt out car is now the center of police inquiries. The unsettling atmosphere in the town reached a boiling point as concerns of potential retaliation attacks between long-standing rivals, the mongrel mob and the black power, loomed large on the day of funeral. Locals were left shaken by the alarming influx of patched mongrel mob members swarming into the town, further exacerbating tensions in an already tense environment. Detective Inspector Lou Warner, leading the investigation, called upon the public for their assistance in shedding light on the incident. The scene examination went on for almost four days, and Warner emphasized the crucial role that information from individuals. However, police remained tight-lipped on what exactly happened on that night. They withhold specific details about the events that took place in that area, indicating that they are keeping the information confidential for investigative purposes. As the community grappled with the shocking loss of the mongrel mob president, Opotiki stood united in mourning while anxiously seeking answers. The tragic circumstances surrounding his death left an indelible mark on the town, and the pursuit of justice remains paramount in the hearts of those affected by this devastating incident. Cap Tijuana was received by Kauru Gateway Funeral at 34 Buchanan Street. And then his funeral was held on the 14th of June at Hillcrest Crematorium. An extra 50 police officers were sent to Opotiki to provide community reassurance. Police were out in large numbers taking footage of reckless driving behavior as hundreds of motorbikes, cars, utes and vans descended into the area. In a breathtaking spectacle that shook the tranquil coastal town, the earth-shattering roar of a thunderous convoy shattered the silence in the morning. The air reverberated with a symphony of roaring engines, as hundreds of motorcycles and iconic American muscle cars unleashed their raw power. The town was covered in a sea of mongrel mob colors. Mongrel mob insignia, emblazoned on flags, jackets, vests, hoodies and the vehicles painted the town in a defiant shade of red. The presence of the mongrel mob was unmistakable as their members brazenly hung out of windows and doors, brandishing their menacing gang signs and defiant salutes. Their imposing figures added an eerie intensity to the already electrifying scene. Barks were heard from several people as they drove past, as well as other shouting. The cemetery and crematorium was closed to the general public and various roads and state highways were closed until 2 p.m. Police said that the mongrel mob, were the predominant gang in Opotiki and had been really well behaved during the funeral and there were no significant issues. And police are investigating Tiatini's death and are now seeking information on the burnt out vehicle. The vehicle was found on Sunday morning on Valley Road and police believe it was set alight overnight on Saturday. Investigators were conducting extensive inquiries into Tiatini's death, including whether there was any connection with the vehicle.
The community described their leader as a formidable figure who commanded respect and admiration from within the mob. His charismatic presence and strong personality made a lasting impression on those who had the privilege of interacting with him. With a strong and unwavering commitment to the mob's values and objectives, he led by example, inspiring loyalty and dedication among the mob members. Cap Tijuana will be remembered as a charismatic, strategic, and influential figure who left an indelible mark on the mongrel mob. His dedication, leadership, and vision has laid a strong foundation for future leaders to build upon, ensuring that his legacy endures within the mob colors. One of the members said, In the wake of his departure, we mourn the loss of a charismatic leader. A titan among men, he commanded respect with an unwavering presence. His courage and determination knew no bounds, a beacon of inspiration. Through the toughest storms, he stood tall, guiding his brethren. A visionary strategist, his legacy forever imprinted upon the mob's path. With heavy hearts, we bid farewell to a legend, our leader, forever cherished. Rest in peace mighty dog Cap Tijuana. <laughs> We're not just gang members. No, we, we're Tangata Fina, we're people of this land. We are, we're fathers, eh? and, and that's what we're here to, to do as the Barbarian family, is to provide better men, to provide better fathers, grandfathers, eh? to become better leaders for our families. Yeah, well, the young Barbarians, they um, need um, positive role modelling. You know, they need to learn uh, pro-social behaviour, be around positive people. And, um, yeah, they need to understand that being a part of the community uh, creates a sense of belonging and makes them feel good. You know, the, the directions the barbarians are shifting is to make us accountable for ourselves and, and our families.